and then we're ready to go. All right, we're here officially in San Diego Comic Con, and we're officially at the press room for the upcoming show, Amazon's The Boys. And I am here with Nathan Mitchell. Nathan Mitchell, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, yeah. let's talk about your character in the show. All right, all right, so I play Black Noir. You know, he's a ninja. He has 21 knives all over his body. He's ready to kill at any moment. But he's also like this enigmatic figure that yeah. you can't get a read on. Yeah. Right? And so he was really fun to play because, you know, like with all these characters, it's the first time they're coming to life on screen. Yeah. You know, and with a character that is like completely in silhouette, completely in shadow in the comics, there's a lot of freedom, you know, in what you can do and where you can move it. Yeah. Uh, what type of prep did you take in taking uh, in playing a role like that? Like you said, like very bland, but seems very deadly. So yeah, you know, I've done taekwondo, you know, for like ten years of my life, you know, and you know, with the role, it's kind of just you kind of just like sit into it, you know, and, and you let it come out of you, you know, and. The suit is a whole thing, yeah. you know. Like it's a whole thing. Once you put it on, it's like you are you become the character in the suit. Yeah, you know. So there's a lot of playing around in the suit and yeah. feeling it out. Yeah, awesome. So it's uh, it's been an amazing week for Amazon this week. Like yeah. so much is going on. Tons of good shows. The the um the activation and everything. I want to know how for you. How has the experience been working with Amazon? Amazon is fantastic. You know, I remember the first time I walked into the studio, you know, the headquarters in LA. Yeah. And like you saw the the you know, the place like lying with like Emmys or you know <laughs> and like the the biggest thing is that like they're about good stories. Yeah. They wanna tell good stories and they wanna make it with a high production value. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they, they care about the core of it. You know, and they'd rather produce ten things that are amazing than twenty five things that are okay. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. And for me like that, that's where I want to work. That's, that's where I want to run with because, like, they're going to make quality and that's going to stand the test of time. Right on. So for somebody that may not have been or have read the comments, what would be your pitch to make sure that people are in seats for it come July 26th? I would say, what would happen if superheroes had no morals? Complete chaos. And then one day, they killed the person you loved. Mm. You know, like what happens? You know, when superheroes have the status of celebrities, they work for, you know, the equivalent of the biggest companies in the world and they answer to nobody. Mm. You know, they lose their connection to their humanity. Yeah. And eventually, you know, they step on the wrong little person. You know, and I think what's, what's one of the best things about the show is most of the superheroes, they're not evil people, they're bad people. Yeah. And they're bad people who are at the top of this Mount Olympus but they're also struggling to stay at the top. So while they're above everybody else, they all have their personal challenges. And I think that humanity is really one of the show's strengths. Awesome. I am looking forward to it. Again, you can check that out. It's going to be on Amazon July 26th. I believe that's the correct date, right? Yep, 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 yep. July 26th. So, again, thanks for chatting with me today, and I hope you have a good rest of your con. Thanks, man. Thanks, Cheers. buddy. Yeah.